All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've already done my runs for the Nightmare GQ, and uh, let me quickly go over my team because I didn't, I don't go over that. I believe my first two runs are a slight difference. Uh, they are, the links are kind of different, so I swapped around some things. I swapped around some T20 abilities, but this is what I end up getting my fastest clear time with, except for one thing. Alright, so we have the accessories and links for the Kogi. Uh, he has the Ronkard Killer sticker, he has the Cape Fastener and the Fortification Bill. And then I have just Max Transcended Links. Uh, Toshiro, I believe, is like plus 10 uh, SP and Focus and Attack. And then uh, the 250 SP. Uh, so, yeah. It, that, that, basically. Also, I know Focus doesn't transfer, but I just, I just mentioned it. Uh, he's only 1 out of 5. He has full stamina damage boost and SP of 200, so very, very, very bare bones except for the links. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's like the main one. As for like the other main character, basically the only other one that I saw that could probably do it is Uryu, but mine is mine is Max Transcended, and uh, I, ha I, I, don't, I saw Suruji, he did it, and he's really good with Uryu, he plays Uryu a lot, and he, he did it with Max Transcended side, so I wasn't going to waste a run on it. Maybe I could do it. Probably doubt it, because he's way better at the game than me, but yeah, let me know down below your tight guys' team. Maybe you end up clearing with it, and you don't have max transcendent sides. I don't know. And then I have Kaname. Uh, he has attack, uh, golden chappy, chappy, and then the hollow bait. Uh, I believe if he has this much attack, he could probably go the Aronkar sticker, which is probably better. Uh, I just never changed it, so unfortunate. I completely forgot to even think about that because I believe you have to get above. Actually, since it's nightmare, I don't know because you need to get above 4,500 attack, and so I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I just didn't do it. But if you get above 4,500 attack, you could probably switch out to the sticker a instead. Uh, and then we have just normal attack damage links, just with a lot of attack. That's mainly all you want on him. Uh, he is 2-5 attack and focus, and then I end up giving him full stamina damage and attack. Uh, full stamina doesn't really matter too much, considering my sides never really stay at full stamina damage, but it helps on for the early waves, I guess. Uh, and then Renji, he's going to be having full attack build, basically the same as Kaname, and then I give him recharge and then full stamina damage links. Uh, he isn't really here for damage, to be honest, but the full stamina damage does help. He's mainly here to try to get off his shield and his boost as much as possible. Uh, and then I ended up giving him uh, attack and focus. You could probably give him either like barrier or maybe if he's dying, you could give him blasted survival. Or you could give him full stamina damage if you can actually keep him at full stamina uh, more consistently, unlike how I could. I, I did like five runs. I don't think he ever lived with uh, full stamina damage. So, But he has a really nice barrier. It's really good. I like it, so that way I can just like keep chopping away and not have to worry about getting attacked. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the runs. And yeah, I think the first one that I show is just going to be me voicing over. Alright, so we have my first run. Uh, this is when I had weakened resistance and a worse link on my Quilgy, so it's pretty rough. Also, I know I miss a lot of strong attacks. Um, the only thing I kind of regret for this video is I didn't actually showcase any different sides. I kind of talked about trying it, but then I never actually ended up doing that. Um, so I do apologize. It's basically just this team the entire video. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's go on in. Um, let me turn the volume a little bit. Dear goodness, it's super quiet. Uh, but yeah, right here, I try to proc, proc my SP boost. And if you don't get it right away, I honestly just say just reset. Because if you don't get your first or your SP boost on the first boss, it's like whatever. And then right here, I, I was just sitting in the middle basically. But what I do later on in the later runs is I drop down to the bottom. I SA1. I take care of a lot of the mini mobs. So that way the sides don't get like jumped or ganked. And then they can go for the actual main boss like Mila Rose. But like this next like SA2, I think I just completely whiff. Uh, no, I don't. Okay, maybe I'm just crazy. But uh, yeah, you just kind of sh shuffle her in. Kind of wish I pushed her towards the middle. So that way they would be more towards the middle when the uh, bosses spawn. So that way, uh, you know, the we can clear the mobs of the SA3. And then you just push them towards your uh, side. So that way they can just kind of keep her in place. But it's not terrible, especially for my first try uh, doing Nightmare and an entirely 1 out of 5 team. I do believe Soul Bombing, the fourth boss, by the way, did actually help me clear faster. Like, I went from, like, a 4 second clear, because this is a 1 second clear right here. And then I get a 4 second clear, and then I get an 11 second clear after Soul Bombing the uh, power 
enemy. So that because my main nad character is a technique character, so I don't know. It, it kind of helped, but yeah, my first clear only a one second left, but uh, I I do massively improve it to be honest. Uh, but yeah. All right, we're hopping in. This is my second run. I think I recorded over my first one, and I had like no volume. But uh, I think I just got horrendous uh, strong tag boosts, because like it just felt like I went super slow. Okay, there we go. Go right here. I say two. I say one. I say three. Back away. Okay, then go down here, and then I say one. Dude, I don't kill all of them. I have to get my SP. Where is she? Oh, she's in the corner. I wish I could tell where any of these enemies are on this horrendous map. I want to save the SA3 for this phase. I sent her flying into the corner, so I lost a bunch of time. Bro, this, this, is, this is awful. Uh, yet again, just slightly faster, I guess, slightly faster, but I missed so many strong attacks, like, oof though. I mean, he is only a 1-5 quirky, so, it, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but damn, I, I just thought I'd be clearing, clearing way faster, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so I have switched up the build slightly, I ended up putting the uh, Ichigo right here the end of your Ichigo instead of my other link I think it was the Uryu. He just has he gives more SP. So I was like, okay I'll do that. I uh, kept everything else the same full stamina damage and then he has SP I don't know if focus is better since he's only a one out of five character But I mean, I think if you just like reset and try to get as many SP bonuses as possible or 80% uh, SP procs I think you should be fine <coughs> and then I ended up swapping Renji's, uh, I think I had weak narration link on here. I gave him focus. Maybe I should give him full stamina, but I've watched him every single time and he never stays at full stamina, so I just won't even try to like keep it on. So yeah, let's hop in for the third run. All right, let's go right here. SA1, SA3. Into the SA2. Hopefully we can cook up the Pesci really quick. Okay, yep. I'm going to go down here and then SA1. SA2. Onto the boss. SA3. SA1. Come back to Pesci. Where'd you go? That's Don Chalk, actually. Bro, die! Bro's not dying. SA3. SA2 onto the Mila Rose. I actually hit this. I missed my SA1 though. That's wonderful. Okay, it's the fourth boss. It's SA2. Into the SA3. SA1 right there. Boom, boom, boom. Punch her up a little bit. I think it's literally the exact same. Yeah, economy got nuked. I think it was unironically like the exact same time. Like I'm probably missing like a strong attack or two placement, but like it, it's fairly consistent four to five. Yeah, new work, new record. Let's go. Uh, but it's mainly around this four second clear time. Uh, let me see. Is there anyone else you can use besides Kogi? Cool? Yeah, I never did a GQ video, so I don't even know. All right, um, I know you can use Uryu. I'm. I was watching Saruji for a little bit, and he was doing it with Uryu, but he has Max Transcendent links. I, I don't have a single uh, side character Max Transcended, so I doubt it will work, to be honest. And I also don't use Uryu that much because he's like a gauge character and I'm not the biggest fan, so... But you definitely could use him. Uh, I don't think anyone else could probably do it, to be honest. Like, unless you have like Max Transcendent links. I think the Rukia Max Transcended can because of her transformability, but... Yeah, like, other than Kogi, I just, I, I don't really see another option. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen Giriko be used as a booster. He has freeze resistance. He has a shield SA2 barrier, and it's also a boost. I don't, 
He has Enhancer on it. He doesn't have the booster skill, but it's still a pretty good... Uh, it's a decent character for a side, uh, you know? It's not bad if you have him. You could definitely use him as a boost. Uh, the Orihime is a... Uh, another shield character if you really need a shield character she's not immune to freeze though so keep that in mind uh, but she does a multi-barrier so she could be a decent side in terms of just like supporting your team uh you would probably still need an actual booster but she wouldn't be horrible uh this is now the she actually has pretty good stats freeze resistance increase uh team party increase uh technique attribute a wrong card normal attack damage I wish she had a boost because then I could use her with Kaname and it would actually do pretty good. I guess he's not an Aronka, he's a Soul Reaper. Never mind. I always get it confused that he's not an actual Aronka, but still, he is. He, she's still pretty good as a side. All right, and then if you are curious, basically for this you can just use any character who's a melee uh, booster. I mean, you could use a range booster, but it's like they're not gonna be doing really anything. Uh, but these are every single booster right here. Uh, so probably the best ones would be the Giriko, then the now I guess. Um, Cares with a shield, like Soifon is also an amazing character for his side, so that way you get a barrier. Uh, Cares with like Aizen, even though he's ranged, but at least the Soifon is melee, so, you know, it isn't too bad. Um, yeah. Also, you know, it's like Tsukishima, obviously the Maid or Hime would be an amazing character, Renji is the one I'm using. Uh, Yuha wouldn't be terrible either. He does have paralysis, so you can kind of like paralyze the enemies and hopefully they stay in place. But uh, yeah, th th those are just the main characters that come to my mind. Comment up below your team, by the way. I don't know how this video is going to format considering I've kind of like chopped it up a few times, but yeah. Let's just uh, let's just hop into another run, see if we can uh, cook. All right, entire, like basically almost an entirely 1-5 team. is kind of crazy clearing nightmare, I can't lie. Cook, cook, cook. I was, I wasn't even clicking melee. I was like dragging my mouse. Oh my god. I mean, it probably didn't do that much damage, even the melee. So it's like fine. It's whatever. Come down here. SA one. SA two. SA one. End of the SA three. Huge damage. Go back down here. SA one. Let them clean up. And then I think I'm gonna Soul Bram right here, actually. Just because they are my main, like, NAD characters, they tech characters, so, like, why not? I say two. Where is she? I cannot see her at all. Uh, I think I scuffed it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, wait. Oh, I got, like, five, four or five seconds faster. So I guess Soul Bombing the Power Unit was the correct choice. Because Konami is a really good Nad character for this. Renji's uh, not bad. He's just kind of like a support though. But we increased our time. Not bad, not bad. T basically 12 second clear with a 1 out of 5 team. Uh, Konami is the only 2 out of 5 character. So basically a 1 out of 5. But you know. Uh, yeah, not bad at all. Now I think what I'll do just for one run. Is change the SP to focus just because I think maybe some people are kind of curious so I'll go ahead and do that real quick all right so we got the uh, focus on full stamina damage so let's just uh, try it out I have to imagine the focus is worse since if you're mainly trying to proc your SP boost as constantly as possible it's probably not gonna be the best since you're also increasing your SP with the SP 80 boost but it, it is what it is and we didn't get our SP boost on the SA1 unfortunately immediately so Already gonna be a bit of a worse time I had to imagine. Run away. Right here, SA1, into the SA2 on top of the Don de Chaka. SA3, SA1. Into the SA1 again. Oh, Mila Rose is over here. Okay, yeah, that's that is a scuff and a half. I, I saw the arrow and I for some reason thought she was over there. Just drop that, just drop that. Okay, uh, we are going to go right here. SA1, into the Soul Bomb. Drop the SA2 on top of her. Dude, where's my SP boost? Jesus. Bro, the game literally said you're not getting an SP boost. 
It actually would have been really... Actually, it was, like, fairly similar. It honestly didn't matter that much. But, like, I missed... I didn't get an SP boost for, like, the entirely, like, last two waves. That was horrible, I'm not gonna lie. But we still cleared with five seconds. So, I mean, it's still... It, I don't think it made that much of a difference. So, either or, whichever one you have probably doesn't matter too much. Um, but, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know down below your guys' teams. Take care, and peace out.